This is a video regarding the Apple Watch Series 1. I've been using it for quite a lot of time, so I thought I'd give it a review in 2020. So let's get started. I have the Apple Watch Series 1 in space gray aluminum case and the sport band. This was the cheapest model that I bought because I saw no point in getting the much expensive stainless steel case. Of course, you get all the basics like watching the time, moving your notifications from your phone to the watch, or activity tracking, which is the main purpose of this watch. But is it still worth it to buy it in 2020? So let's find it out. So of course, like any other Apple Watch, you can change the watch faces from the watch app and customize them or even create your own watch face app as per you like. So running on the latest version of watch OS, it has the same interface like the newer watches by Apple. So the first thing when it comes to app support, if you wonder whether you'd be getting the latest apps. So the answer is probably yes, because it still runs on the latest version of the watch OS. But again, I believe this watch wouldn't be getting the next huge update, so it would lose support. But it doesn't mean that you won't be able to get anything then. I mean, there would be certain limitations and minor things. If your use with the watch is simple, I mean just watching notifications or time, it's gonna be pretty usable and I don't think there would be any reason to upgrade to the new one, except for the fact that you would be getting the same functionality with some speed upgrades and other improvements. So as you can see, launching apps sometimes takes some time and overall usage might feel sluggish at certain moments but the difference isn't so great when compared to the newer one. Of course, there will be speed improvements, but other than that, you will be getting the same functionality. So the main purpose of this watch is to move your notifications from your phone, so you don't even have to take it out of your pocket. So this is something which is, does great and I don't think there's any other reason to spend loads on getting the newer expensive ones. Next up I'll discuss the battery life. Of course it has been a couple of years since its launch so battery has degraded a lot. So I don't think if it is good or not, um, I'd just say it lasts for almost a day. I would acknowledge the series 3 or above for a better battery life but I don't think the change would be significant. So there are a lot of reasons to upgrade and not to upgrade to the newer one but is it even worth it? So I would like to give a simple answer. If you're looking to buy a new one, then don't buy this. But if you already have one, then you don't really have a problem with this as far as the usability goes. But again, in terms of speed, there are some imperfections. In general, there is not much I can say about it. Of course, the battery life isn't that good and it lacks some other things like GPS support or water resistance. But still, it is a great device and I think you're going to be satisfied with this if you keep it or buy it. But if you are thinking of buying a new one, then definitely take a look at the newer ones like the Series 4. I would still recommend the Series 4 due to its newer design that's not going to be changing in the near future. So that is it. If you have any questions regarding the series of the Apple Watch, Leave a comment down below and I'd be looking forward to assist you.